The inverted microscope operates on the same principle as the upright compound microscope, except the objective is located under the specimen on the inverted scope, and the light source emanates from the top. Toggle the microscope on, and you'll notice the light source on top comes on, light goes through the specimen, is directed through the microscope, up through the binocular eyepieces. Light intensity can be controlled by the rheostat, coarse, fine focus, and stage control are also available. A diverter is located in the headpiece, and this takes the light through the scope, and instead of diverting it to the eyepieces, the light goes to the camera. The inverted microscope can also be operated in epifluorescence mode. Here, the light emanates from an LED unit through a cube up to the specimen, reflects back down, and the light can be directed to the camera or eyepieces. Note the shutter. Always keep the shutter open. A filter cube is also available, which should be in the middle position for GFP excitation and fluorescence. The epifluorescent LED unit can be controlled from the pad. The wavelength of the excitation is indicated in nanometers along with the intensity of light that's projected onto the specimen, which can be controlled with up and down arrows and an on-off button is also available. Turn on the unit or off, simply press the button. Intensity can be increased or decreased. Use the minimal amount of light needed to obtain a satisfactory image as the sample can bleach. When you first sit down at the epifluorescent microscope, you'll want to operate the microscope under bright field conditions to locate a cell. Place the dish onto the stage. Be sure it's tightly affixed. Adjust the binox for your own eyes and turn on the bright field. Use the coarse, the fine focus, along with the stage control to locate the cells of interest. As with the compound scope, remember that each of your eyes focuses differently and you can adjust the eyepieces for each of your eyes, left and right respectively. Get comfortable, find the cell of interest. Once you've in found the area that you want to examine with fluorescence, what you're going to want to do is turn off the bright light. Be sure the white light is turned off. Place a piece of plastic over the specimen. Turn on the epifluorescent. You'll see a blue light. And then focus. Find your cells. Decrease the intensity or increase it. We recommend you not increasing over about 20% as higher light intensities will bleach the sample. When done, turn off the microscope.